Yo, what is going on my dudes? Welcome to another RuneScape news coverage video. So for this video, we're going to be taking a look at RuneScape Mobile and what we shown off with the live stream the other day. Specifically for this video, we're going to be talking about the technical aspects of RS Mobile. So without any further ado, let's jump right into the video. Let's go. All right, guys, so we're going to be talking about, like I said, RS Mobile, and specifically, we're going to be talking about the technical side of things for this video. I will be covering more about RS Mobile in the coming days, so stay tuned for that. But for this particular one, we're going to be talking about, you know, general technical details regarding the app, etc. So before we get started, I just want to say that none of this is definitive in terms of the figures and numbers I'm going to be talking about because the game has not yet been optimized. So if anything, you can take this as a ballpark. So if you meet these requirements that I'm going to talk about in a minute, then you're pretty safe to say that you're going to be fully ready, or at least your device is going to be fully capable to run RS Mobile whenever this goes live. Like I said, these numbers are not finalized. They will be optimized, so they will be less than what we discuss. I just want to make that abundantly clear. All right, first up, they just want to put out there that they recommend that when you finally download the app itself and when you run it, it's recommended to use it over Wi-Fi. Obviously, that's not going to be the case every time and you're gonna have to use your data if you don't have an unlimited data plan they don't know the exact data usage as of right now so that's why they recommend wi-fi but i guess we're gonna have to find out when it gets closer to launch exactly how much data this is going to be used obviously if you have unlimited data on your plan you don't even have to worry about this but just keep that in mind so first up the app size the app itself is at least in the current build, four megabytes. Nothing too major, but just keep that in mind. The cache, however, is between two to three gigabytes, but they are looking at ways to include some of the cache to be with the initial download. Again, that two to three gigabyte figure is without optimizations made, so let's not forget that. The amount of RAM you really want on your device is about two gigs of RAM, which is pretty easy to come by, even the most low end of mobile devices can put out at least two gigs of RAM, so hopefully that's not a problem for most people. Bear in mind, like I did say, there will be optimizations that will lower these numbers in the future, and any optimizations they make to the mobile will actually translate over to the PC as well, so that's actually pretty good. If you have no intention of ever using mobile, at least the optimizations for mobile will help out PC users as well, so that is a silver lining to look at. Now, in terms of battery usage, I don't have anything definitive, but Mod Shiny did say on the stream, and he did play the game on his mobile mobile device for an entire hour he said at the beginning he had about 30 percent battery life and at the end he was left with 17 percent now bear in mind he had like max settings and he had the backlit on the whole time so it had the maximum amount of battery drainage and it only took 13 percent of battery life in that hour that translates to about seven and a half hours of gameplay at 100 percent battery life now obviously that's going to change based on you know the device you have there's a lot of leeway way and variation when it comes to these kind of things because everybody's mobile device is very different and drains power at very different rates but seven and a half hours of gameplay is by no measure small that's actually really impressive for something like a game like runescape to be running on your device bear in mind that's also something that's not fully optimized yet so it could be even better and i have to repeat that it may vary greatly depending on the device you're using. Let's shift gears a little bit and take a brief look at the app itself. So they actually still need to work on the core aspects of the app to make it work like an app, which makes it easier to work with other phone interactions. For example, if you happen to be playing the RS Mobile and you get a phone call, they have yet to work around how that's exactly going to work at this point. This app is not what is called a native app, and they're not using multi-screen with it. It's basically like they're running the PC NXT client on your phone. Again, that's only with the current build and they are working to fix that and make it behave like any other app you have currently on your phone. It's important to note that switching tabs for example, opening another app should keep you logged in, at least for the five minute duration that logins usually last, assuming you went AFK. Currently in this build, the phone does go to sleep when you're using the app. So if you're AFKing, you know, your phone screen may turn off. However, there are going to be a future NXT update that will make it so it doesn't go to sleep unless you tab out. Obviously, that will be available 
by the time RS Mobile ends up launching. Moving on to more technical interactions, if you're somebody who plays with sounds on, it's important to note that all audio is streamable, which means it's going to be using up your data. However, if you use the global mute feature, it will stop it from being streamed. So you can minimize your data usage that way. The app will not work with Touch ID as it would be a native feature if anyone happens to be concerned about that. And also, bot detection is still going to work just as normal as it does with the PC versions. However, the bot detection does have mobile devices in mind when it's checking whether you're botting or not. So that just goes to show if anybody plans on making any third-party software on mobile, bot detection will, at least from what we can see, detect that and you will be banned. And finally, I just want to touch on some of the specific devices they actually touched on in the stream the other day. So the Samsung Galaxy 6 and the OnePlus 5 and obviously anything newer work perfectly fine with the build. So if you happen to have one of those phones or anything obviously newer than those, you should have no problem running RS Mobile when it ends up launching. If anybody happens to have any of phone supported keyboards or a stylus, those should work fine, but they are looking more into it to make sure it's fully compatible by the time it's going to be in our hands. Tablet interaction interaction is working perfectly fine. However, there's currently some issues that may pop up from time to time, at least in the build that they are in right now, but they will be resolved by the time it launches. Razer was kind enough to give Jagex two of their newest phones for testing purposes. So if you happen to be somebody who's picking up one of those Razer phones, you should be perfectly fine with playing RS Mobile because Jagex has those phones in-house and is testing with them to make them compatible. And finally, they are currently tackling interface scaling with quad HD plus phone screens which will actually be really useful obviously touching the screen with your finger is a lot less precise than something like a mouse click and you may accidentally click on things that you did not intend to click on so that interface scaling is really gonna come in handy when this actually goes live for anybody who has trouble clicking on small things on their screen which let's be honest is probably most of us anyways that is pretty much it for the technical side that was revealed with this live stream Tomorrow, I'll be looking at the interfaces as well as the layout itself and the changes that are being made since we've first seen RS Mobile play out. So stay tuned for that if you happen to be interested. If you've enjoyed this video, I hope you did, hit that like button and let me know. If you want to stay up to date on all things RuneScape related, then hit that subscribe button. Anyways, I appreciate you guys watching. I am out. Peace.